Hi, Joe. Sam. Many scientists believe that within a few years, we will all have a personal record of our genome. And one of the most powerful uses of that technology will be for couples like Joe and Sam, who want to have children. In this ultimate future vision, they are about to select the genes they wish to pass on. In short, design their child. Okay, first things first, a boy or a girl? Boy, little boy, please. As soon as we be can begin to understand what our genes tell us about who we are, well, we're gonna wanna make choices about our children. Professor Greg Stock is a writer on human genetics at UCLA and sees the possibility of designer babies becoming real within the next few generations. I think that the ability to screen for complex traits is very close, in that it is no more than a decade or so away. First, it will be people that are very wealthy and want to be sure that they don't have a child that is afflicted with various genetic diseases. I told you about the uh, history of haemophilia on my side of the family. I don't know if you picked it up in the database. And then it's going to slowly move towards lesser vulnerabilities, like maybe serious depression or something of that sort, and then to choices of personality and temperament. Why wouldn't every parent want to be able to program the, everything they could to make the perfect child? Okay, then. Let's start with eyes. Right, well, um, I mean, we thought my eye colour, I mean, just the eye colour, because, um, you know, I've got... Uh, short-sightedness. I don't know, 2020 comes as a standard. The problem is that all of this technology, this hard path approach to using the gene, it leads to a new eugenics movement, but it's a friendly one. Don't you want a healthy baby? Don't you want to bring predictability and design principles into life so that you can have a better life and your child can have a better life? Is there anything there that catches your eye? Sorry about the pun. <laughs> <laughs> um... But what I'm suggesting is it could be even more devastating than the social eugenics of Hitler. Even though the intentions are honorable, the motivations are noble. Because what it does in the final analysis is reduce all of life to engineering, where our children become the ultimate shopping experience in a postmodern society. Would you like to see him? Yeah. Yes, please. All right. This is the 10 week profile. What baby will look like just after birth. No one knows if this vision will ever become reality or how far in the future, but is it a vision most of us want to see? The idea of designer babies is universally unpopular. Even in Turkey, where the highest level of support is found, less than half are in favor. I think that's ridiculous, um, trying to design a baby. Half of the pleasure of having a child is not actually knowing the sex or what the child is going to look like. You have some idea because you have the genetics of the father and the mother. So trying to, to pick, I, I, I think we're going off into playing God when we do that and not science. We as human beings have always strived to do is improve ourselves. That's fine. But in terms of manipulating the DNA to give us um, designer babies, for me, the answer is no. Between 80 and 90 percent of those polled in all countries believe gene technology should only be used to treat medical conditions. I want a blonde baby is very different from I want a baby that's not going to die in the first six months of life, live on a respirator and never know, you know, never know the sunshine. I think when it comes to uh, choosing the fate of your child, I think people's and the law will very soon realize what is acceptable and what isn't. It is now 50 years since the DNA code was broken. In that time, many lives have been transformed by genetic science. But the promise of longer, healthier living for all still seems a long way away. And the successes have raised more questions than answers. Will we overcome the technological challenges? Can we unravel the ethical dilemmas? Above all, will we learn to cope with our own expectations? There is now this whole realm that was once beyond us that we have to make choices about and we're going to make good choices about them and we're going to make bad choices about them it's going to be just like anything else and it's not going to leave us to some 
a perfect world where there are no problems and it's not going to leave, lead us to destruction. We've come an enormous way in genetics in the past 50 years. 50 years ago, it would have been utterly inconceivable to imagine that in half a century we'd have sequenced the human genome. But we have. But in science, you never know how far you've gone. You're always looking at the horizon, and the horizon recedes the further forward you go. Do you have a name? I don't. 